He is a singer-songwriter who is persistently doing his own music after gaining fame through an audition program. And guess what, guys? He is also a senior in my university. With a warm and cozy tone that goes very well with spring, singer-songwriter Cho hyung Woo's stage begins right now. Hello, hello, Mr. Jo Young. Hello, he hello, is in hello, the studio. Hello. hello again. It's been a while since I came to you know Super K. Our listeners yes. have been waiting for really? you desperately. Oh, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. My goodness, and I must be honest with you, I've yes. been waiting for this moment too. Oh, really? Yeah, because I, I was um, tuning in several times and I saw you hosting the show too many, I see. many times, right? Oh, that's very kind. Yes, I was uh, doing the special DJ for uh, for a moment. And I was doing the guest, regular guest, and everything. Mm -hmm. So it really feels like, you know, friendly with mm -hmm. the listeners and the DJ. And by the way, congratulations on oh, your thank you so very much. Coming DJ, I learned the best from you. Oh, <laughs> thanks, man. Because I was tuning in to get thanks. familiar to the content uh, and everything. Yes, yes, and yes. then tuning into you really did help me out. Aha, uh -huh, that's really nice. And especially, I I that's already nice. am falling in love with your music. Oh, thank you. Because the moment I walked into the studio, mm -hmm. I saw this beautiful guitar. Oh yes. of my favorite brand. Oh really? Oh, oh you my like my guitar. dream, one of my dream really, guitars right really. there. You should you should play it. I want show. to. I want yes, to. Yes, Will you, you let me? Yes. Yes, of course, of <laughs> course. Right. It's a good guitar. Yes. All right. Mm -hmm. I, I know that it's a beautiful guitar with yes. beautiful sound. Uh -huh. um, but before we get into the music thing, yes, um, I kind of feel like I should be more polite with you today. Uh huh. Only because I only found out last night. Oh, really? That you are my senior at college. Oh. You're my sonbeni. Yeah, yeah. It turns out to be. I don't really want to be like Sunbenim. <laughs> <laughs> but like I met a lot of like Sunbenim mm -hmm. of us uh -huh. too when I was doing the music. Yeah. Yes. And somehow I became like really, really polite when I was doing the radio exactly. show. Once I went to the Iwon Sok Sunbenim's radio show. Oh, for real. You know, Daybreak. The Daybreak Iwon Sok Sunbenim. Yes, yes. My goodness. Sometimes I talk to Kim Gwangjin Sunbenim. Kim Gwangjin Sunbenim. Of Dr. Lesh. <gasps> Wow, so there's and a lot of like these um, lot of musicians like from uh, our a network of alumni yes, in yes, the music the blue, field. Blue University. Just to clear it out, uh, we both graduated from university called Yonsei. Yes. I graduated from the mass communication side. Shinbun Bang Hwa. So there's Shinbun Kwa. What about you? What's your major? Uh, I, I graduated from Sengkwa Day, you know, the human ecology. Sengkwa Day. Yes, and it, we, it is the interior architectural interior design. Interior architecture. Yes. Chilne Gonchukak. Yes. Chilne wow, that's so Housing complex. Interior. Flex. It's yeah. You know, it's just design. But I can, I can so see you as a designer too. Oh, thank you. Because you're so like, like so well put. So we've got a lot of like studio works. Mm -hmm. So we always used to work overnight. Mm -hmm. And I decided not to spend overnight working on the designs, but <laughs> rather you know music. So. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Doing kind of similar. Because uh -huh. let me be honest with you, Sengkwa Day is like in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Right? Because like our campus the is like quite gate. broad. Yes. But then like my building was up north and yes. your building is like all the way west. West. Like in the corner, uh, yeah. in the like middle of a forest, isn't yes. it? Yes. So um, when you were... You know, female students. Exactly. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot of like Duna there too. Oh, did you? I always have like a lot of nunadal around me. Because so. we have a legend in the school saying, if yes. you want to see all those pretty or good-looking men, you yeah. got to stay in the west side of the campus. Because ah. everyone dresses differently in your building. Oh, They're more colorful, yeah, vibrant. Because there's like a fashion like design department mm -hmm. and everything. Yes. Exactly. So I do remember walking past by the building mm. on purpose several I times. I see. I see. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, just a question though. When you were in college, mm -hmm. Tanbenim, yes. uh, were you doing any like band work or like uh, club activities back in school? I was the 회장, you know, the, the <gasps> yeah, president. Of, yeah, the president, yeah, the president of the band club, band wow. Dongari, Yeah, of the Sengkwade, of, of human ecology. Oh so. my goodness, what was the name of the band? I was, uh, it, it's called Sengyunwi. Sengyunwi. Sengkwade Yunwi Wonhe. Okay. That's the name of the club. So I mm. went in there, I really enjoyed doing the band. And I am like a, like a, you know, intimate person. Mm -hmm. I'm the MBTI I person uh, right you? now. You don't look like one. Well, at that time, I was like, like capital letter E. Introvert to max. Yeah, like, like very like loud, like mm. very standing out uh -huh. in front of the people doing this, 
you know, hui zhang thing and yeah. everything. And I really enjoyed it. Oh, you did? Yeah. Interesting. Mm. But like for me, I'll be honest with you. I don't really have much networks of alumni some best. Uh-huh. So uh, I'm so glad that I met you today. Oh, that's really nice. It's What's your like, hakbon? It's uh, <laughs> uh, 2012년도. Oh, year, year 2012. Your Ilya hakbon. What's your hakbon? Um, I'm I'm like a 공육 hakbon. 공육 hakbon. Yeah. So I was actually uh, doing some research, mm-hmm. and I heard you also did like soup soge hangyeon, like the forest concert. Oh yeah, I did. Yeah, and I did. like uh, the Akaraka too, the the festival. Yeah. I think yeah, I did it too. And I th- I heard that was 2011. I think so. So that's After... just before my college oh, days. Oh really? So I oh it. my gosh! Oh my gosh! Ah, just by a year. Yeah. So after the audition program, mm-hmm. I got invited by the school. So I had an opportunity to perform mm-hmm. in the Akaraka, and I did uh, the Kayoze, you know, the competition school yeah, yeah, yeah. song School's, competition yes, thing. Competition. And I got the you know awarded prize from wow. there too so that kind of made me to think that maybe i'm you know mm-hmm. maybe i should do music amazing, for my career amazing, yeah amazing amazing something like that uh, that is lovely i know that you are a good friend with sam too because many of our listeners were saying sam's bestie yeah so we got all like it's like it's all about school connection it's kind of interesting yeah sam too so sam was my high school friend Oh my goodness. Yeah, when I was in the in the England, you know, back wow. in the UK. Yeah, and I came back when I was 19 and then went into the That is amazing. So it always feels like Super K-pop is a friend of mine. Mm-hmm. So all the listeners are friend of mine of mm-hmm, mine. Mm-hmm. Now they are all friend of mine. Now you Interesting. Are friend of mine. So now I get how how much of a big family this is yeah. all together. It's all in about, the you know, it's all the family, all the Pidnim writers. I have I, I have been spending too much time mm-hmm. talking, chatting with the writer Nuna mm, outside see, the studio. Oh, it's been a while and blah 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 amazing amazing something like that um so just prior to this interview i was doing again i was researching last night mm. and um i realized that you actually rented a whole movie theater lately uh-huh uh-huh can you tell us about this like how did you end up renting a whole movie theater? it was a very uh amazing experience uh-huh. but actually i didn't rent the whole you know theater okay i just went in to watch a movie mm-hmm. it was the jojo morning movie oh I around see. The 10 o'clock or 12 o'clock, I think. Yeah. So you're a film lover? Uh, yeah, kind of, because I am interested in film, like film music composing too. What? We need I am to, kind we of need to high five. Why? I study too. Really? I study film music too. When? Uh, since last year. I'm enrolled in a program at Yonsei. Oh, really? There's a film music program. Yeah. Oh, that's a very famous program. It is, it is. Yes, it is. yes. A lot of wow, filmmakers. We have so much commonality. Oh, that's really amazing. Okay, we, should, we should form a team and become a, like, hey, like we a should. film music ah, like, We should, producers. we should. But then let me ask you a pop question then. Yes. Your favorite Lifetime film then? What's mm. your favorite? If you had to choose one film to watch on the last day of your life, let's say. Uh, what film are, would it be? It's a lot, but the first thing that came into my mind could be The Secret Life of Motomiti. Ah, great you film, know? isn't it? Yeah. Yes, yes. Walter, what was the f- mm-hmm. title? Walter Mitty. Yeah. A yeah, great Walter actor, Mitty great thing. music again. That was a great movie. A very creative one. What is your it? favorite one? My favorite, I would have to say... Uh, Life is beautiful. Life is beautiful. It's an Italian, Italian film. film. Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a good. Great movie. film. Um, and I also love a Wes Anderson movies. Too. Oh, they're beautiful. I like see. Mm, very oh, interesting. You're a film person. Like but not movie. only movies, but I know you do advertising music too, right? Yes. So tell us about that. Just I'm like trying to like show off your side. I'm currently please. working as a advertisement music uh-huh. uh, producer, and. Basically, the most of the money that I'm making is from there. Like, is it? So it makes me to be more comfortable with mm-hmm. doing my own music because you don't have to, you know, care too much about Mm-mm-mm-mm. making money or like doing too, you know. So pop. very true. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Something like that. So I worked on commercials like, you know, the, uh, you know, the Yogi Ding Ding app. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the hotel like accommodation. Booking, booking application. Yeah, booking app. Mm-hmm. Na, 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 oh, da, da, that's da, you. Da, da. Yeah, that's me. That was you. Yeah, that was me. Oh the first my version was Chang Bom Jun Shi's version. Oh my god. I worked on that and then it kinda expanded the the world of yes, the song. Did. And then there's so many people Yun singing Jong-shin, it. Yoon Jong-shin, Chang Gia, uh-huh. and everyone else. Doing Lately, wasn't there like uh, Kwak Tube too? Yeah, the YouTubers, <laughs> the YouTubers too. Joining? Because, you know, they travel a lot. So. Oh my goodness. We, our team, the, I've got the whole team. You have such an amazing portfolio. Yeah, yeah that's a, that's, I think that's the good, very good 
portfolio for me. Okay, then like personal question for you concerning mm-hmm. this whole portfolio. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have your own like separate studio or do you work at home or do you have your own studio that you go to every day? First, we've got the recording studio uh-huh. and uh, I used to have my personal like 작업실 studio okay. on my own. Mostly I went there. Sometimes some other 감독님들 can use it, but oh, okay. most of the time I was there. And I moved out to like, uh, you know, like Western kind of area. Mm. So now... West meaning like... Yeah, like I live in Kimpo right oh, now. Oh, you live in Kimpo. Yes. Nice. So nice. I moved out of that studio mm-hmm. and now I work, you know, at home. Oh, you in do? In my living room. So yes. do you have like all the soundproof walls? Yeah, uh, not really. I'm not that loud kind okay. of like, okay. like dance music person. <laughs> dance music? I have... I don't have any soundproof materials uh, in my studio, but still, it's fine. Because yes. like, if you think about it, especially for like acoustic tunes yep. or anything similar to that, mm-hmm. like it's, it's okay. like bedroom acoustic is pretty okay. Yeah, it's okay. It with, it's with okay. With decent amount of mixing done. Yes, I would say. yes, yes. Uh, but do you do your mixing mastering too then? Uh, for my music, for my album, uh-huh. for a few commercial uh, ones, mm-hmm. I do that too. Uh huh. Interesting. So I'm like a mixing master. I'm studying mixing mastering too. So guys, we have an all-rounder musician yeah, sitting in the like, studio, guys. Like, like this that. is amazing. Mm-hmm. The amount of work he's done and everything. Oh, but like you. just like you, I also work in a home studio. I can and, see and that from just, your questions. Yes, yes, it is very it's very minimal and small. Yes. Um, but I have to always hold myself back mm-hmm. from buying too much equipment oh i know that because <laughs> you know like if, as a musician you always have that checklist i know that of equipments you want yes yes you do are you also into equipment i always What's your concept of I buying am, equipment i don't know there's something just pops in like some kind of like interface interface uh, keyboards uh-huh. guitars because i do everything i do mixing right. and mastering writing songs and arrangement i play uh-huh. guitar i play keyboard so i've got so many things i need the mic too you do I'm a vocalist, you do of course yes and so, a decent computer too decent computer too mm. yeah so that's crazy because i have to, the range of the equipment that i have to be interested in is too broad broad yeah, I, that's I the problem agree with you 100 percent. because yeah uh, right? right? yes. um, especially because you're like you know like like our songs, we mm. can make it very small and minimal using guitar, drum pad, maybe simply. Mm. Before like these advertising music or film music, mm-hmm. you need all these sample libraries, yeah. which is again, huge. very expensive. Very expensive. Right. It takes a huge volume of your hard drive. Will you please share your list of sample libraries the with samples. me? The samples. <laughs> it's not a big thing. It's all in YouTube right yeah, now. Okay, okay. But if I want you, some tips. Yeah, yeah. If you are really interested after the show, you know. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, all the plugins that I use mm. for my my albums and mm-hmm. my commercial music, I can all share with that, I um, think. In our little corner here, mm-hmm. I always have this little pen, and I call this yes. the magic wand. Uh-huh. See, I, I'll give you this magic wand. Yes. If I count to three and you could buy one equipment right now, any price, Yes. can you tell us what it is? It, it could be kind of boring. Okay, one, two, three. Newman Neumann U87. It's a microphone. Yeah, microphone. Oh, you want a better microphone. Yeah, because you need U87 in everything. You do. That can you, capture everything. You definitely need U Pulture <laughs> for K pop music. I need that. I've been doing this for a yes, long time. And yes, now I yes. feel like with the engineers and uh-huh. all my friends, uh-huh. I think we need U Pulture. Like, we think, always say that. You know, U87. I think what Hyungwoo needs is more work. So I'll hold on to my Harry Potter wand and say, give Hyungwoo more work, please. Yeah. The world, all the universe, the, the, the power of the universe go yeah. to Hyungwoo's portfolio. Because it's an e- expensive microphone. It is, it, it is. is. And it is a dream microphone yeah, for everyone is. too, right? Yeah. I would love that too in my yeah, studio. Yeah. I'm sure Sam has it, doesn't he? Could be. He could, he could. Could be, could be. <laughs> <laughs> I need cool. to visit his studio. I want it too, actually. Yeah. Um, I do want to ask you, because you're a big time humble for me. Oh, thank I you. I am also in the process of songwriting right now. Oh, huh. And I'm facing so much stress because mm-hmm. of like writer's block. The writer's block, yes. How do you overcome your writer's block? I need some tips on this. Uh, you 
must try not to write a good song. I think not to write a good song. Yeah, you must What avoid. What does that mean? You must you must avoid yourself from mm-hmm. writing the best song in the world. Then something would come out. Oh, so be true to yourself. Yeah, because you know, thinking back in my you know younger days uh-huh. when I was a. Uh, Creating like some good songs, mm-hmm. I didn't really try to make. Oh, I'm <laughs> this, gonna be a good song. This is the song I've been waiting for. The for the melon chart, <laughs> anything. No, I didn't try it. It just came out. Oh really? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. When I was making, uh, when I make the commercial music too, mm-hmm. is some. It, yes, the same thing applies too. Mm-hmm. You don't really have to. You just mm-hmm. start writing something and then something comes out. You just let it flow out from you. Yeah, I think it's uh, the difficulty is to balance between uh-huh. writing a good song and just uh, uh, you know uh, uh, throwing uh, uh, out. The ideas. I think that's all about that. Do you invest more time into song, the like the composition mm. or the lyrics part? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh-huh. Maybe composition and arrangement. Arrangement takes a long yeah. time, of course. Yeah, arrangement takes long time. Mm-hmm. And lyrics usually it comes uh, out in a night mm-hmm. or two night or mm-hmm. three nights maybe. Something like that. Interesting. Because I always set the deadline. Oh, uh, you set the deadline. Oh, that's a good tip too. Deadline is the best inspiration, they say. Yeah, you should you should set the deadline. I that's think it. I should. Thank yeah, you for the tip. You should just call tip. the Yutongsa dis- distributor, okay. and you've got the deadline for them. Oh, okay. And then you, you just gotta work it out yeah, within the day. Yeah, something just comes out. Interesting. Just before the deadline night. Okay, sounds good. I'm learning so much from Joe Hyungwoo right now, guys. Mm-hmm. Um, I do know that you have a new single out. Yes. Right? It, it is, is called While You Were Out. While you got with Churan Sai. Yes. Do you mind then giving us some explanation for this? Uh, it's a sweet uh, folk pop song. Ah, oh, my fave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's, a, it's, it's like a Joe Hyungwoo genre. Oh, and yeah. It's, yeah. It's a, and All it's a way. story of a guy who realized, who, mm-hmm. just, who was just left alone. And this guy kind of realized that He first felt good being alone at home because oh. his loved one went out of the house. Oh, okay. So he first enjoyed it, watching the Netflix and everything. <laughs> and then he somehow he realized that ah, oh, I'm already missing her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and he realized that he re- really realized how much you know he or she misses the other, the significant other. So it's like post like breakup syndrome. But mm. at first you're just like you know what I'm fine being single. Mm, oh, it's not about the breakup. It's not. Yeah. So it's just. It's just like Sweet spatial song. thing. Yeah, just a spatial thing. Oh, interesting. So just, hey, honey, I'll be out. Oh, okay. something like that. Hey, and then so this guy was like, oh my god, I'm alone at home. I love your lyrics. Yeah, something like that. And then oh, I'm already missing her. Because you know, if you think about it, the regular approach would be like we broke up. Yeah. And then I, I don't miss her at first, but I mm-hmm. start missing her. But then you're mm-hmm. taking a different, mature kind of love relationship. Yeah. Where everything is faith based. Yeah. Would say. So maybe these guys are living. Together or like you know this guy is staying in the significant other's house mm-hmm. or the other way around, uh, you know. Something looking like that. forward to it very much. Uh-huh. Uh, you self composed, wrote and arranged the song. Yes, arranged the song with my friend because I was too hurry. I couldn't do it alone. <laughs> like alone. So arrangement okay. was done with my friend. Mm-hmm. Yes, and uh-huh. like from scratch. Mm-hmm. Like how long did it take this whole process? Um. Less than a week, I think. Less than a week. I always cram in. <gasps> oh yeah. my goodness, guys! Because I guys. set the date from the distribution company. This is impressive. I always do that like that. Like it's it's already like always like less than 10 days. Sometimes it's like three days. Wow. So you would actually consider yourself a procrastinator. Oh. Or not? Or do you just set the date? Just start working for there? I just set the date and then I just do it. Okay. Yeah. So that's like next level J, I would say. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I do commercial music, I think. May, maybe I'm kind of like used to speeding up when mm, I write the song mm, because mm, you know mm, you mm. fight with the deadline always mm. when you're doing the commercial music. Can I ask you uh, a side question? Uh huh. Where's the inspiration from this song coming from? Uh, the deadline? No, 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 no. In terms of story, <laughs> the storyline. I mean, obviously it's the deadline, <laughs> but like the storyline because it's so interesting. The storyline. Well, I'm hoping. I'm assuming it could be like a movie. It could be like a book. Yeah. Could be like I was, uh, because while I was studying the film music composition, Mm -hmm. I uh, had an opportunity to watch that, what was that, you know, uh, uh, that's an English movie, but you, uh, 
It's about turning back to time. Oh, about time. Yeah, it's about time. About time. One of my favorite movies yes, too. Yes, yes. Hey, yes. I watched the last week too. You know, what mm. if she can't mm, mm, come mm, back mm, 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 mm. to my reality? Yes. And then, yeah, that's, that lyric is kind of in my what? music too. Yeah. Now I am looking forward to this live performance again. You're going to sing it live for us, aren't you? Yes. It's, and it's been a while. It's going to be a live acoustic guitar performance. Oh my goodness. And I think I, in, in Arirang like music, and it's been a long time since I did like has it I always did like an instrumental live but that is amazing know, just for you guys guys again just like for super k-pop this uh first of all I love your voice because mm-hmm. like, I listen to your tracks mm-hmm. and I love your guitar and I love your outfit and I love your story behind oh, this song too so I'm gonna thanks. give you a minute to drink some water and get ready yes. for us yes uh guys tuning in right now again we have the amazing all-rounder musician Cho Hyung Woo joining us for music stage and he released a new single you got which runs high while you were out uh, are you ready for the live performance Hyung Woo yes I am ready take it away please here goes let's go Pinjibe I understand that every time I get married I love you TV song like a movie I don't I'm falling in love with you Usukwangsuron Budi Nel Chu Nun Chumer Tashin Am Kechul Suok Kedemyum Nan Algedwechi Kurol De Mada Nan Nor Sarang Han in Goya TV song young way, Machi Machoron, nor no chigo ship chain and nana. I say, I get a song, we go with your answer. So I've fallen in love with you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Uh, so it was my new I'm song. I'm falling in love oh, with your thank music. You. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Your voice. <gasps> it's magical. Oh, that's too much. Thank and again, you. it goes perfectly with the tone of the guitar too. Oh yes. Yeah. So this wow. song, you could perform it live with an acoustic guitar. This is mm-hmm. some kind of song that I kind of intended to be performed mm-hmm. with the guitar. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, our listeners are going crazy too. Um, as they were saying, wow, such a beautiful song. I love the arrangement of the chords. Mm-hmm. Um, Lenny also says the way you sing so relaxing oh, and you. more enjoying to s- uh, to sing it. 
Oh. Amazing, right? Yeah, thank you. Hello, everyone. Now I'm watching the chats. You know the the messages. Uh -huh, the right. Yeah, uh, we have we have so many listeners complimenting on your sound, thank on you. your voice. Thank you, Jenga. As well, the I love the comment. Already. Wendy's saying, "Can imagine the scenery well with the song, like someone in a house near the beach." Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Yes, the music video was taken at my home. Oh, was it? Yeah, that's my home. <gasps> So uh, that living room, I wrote it. I wrote the lyrics. I did all the arrangements. Uh -huh. and yeah, yeah. Blah, wow. blah, blah. Can I go over to your place? <laughs> <laughs> you can, definitely. It's a bit far away. Hey, I actually you live can. nearby your town. Really? Yeah, I do. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, upper Hangang from your side. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's my hometown. I'm going to reach out to you. Okay, all yes, right? you should. Definitely. Awesome. My yes. favorite line actually was, While you were out, mm -hmm. falling in love with you. Oh. That was my favorite line. Yes. So yeah. So so very good. So that's while you were gone, that's line. when I realized uh -huh. your presence. Yes, <sighs> your presence. Exactly. Yeah, that's the thing. Like beautiful, that. beautiful. Thank you again for the oh, amazing live. Oh, thank you, guys. Um, let's uh, uh thank Hyung once more by showing out all the uh, clapping emojis on our live chat. Yes, those were the three songs picked out by our fellow musician Cho Hyungu. Mm -hmm. That was Chukje, Swim, and Be My Guest. Yes. Um, amazing tracks, by the way. Um, I believe you're gonna sing another song for us live. Yeah. Can you tell us about this song, please? So, uh, some of you might know this song. This is uh, one of my biggest song. It's my Tepyogo called mm -hmm. Fuhe Regret. It's my Where? favorite song, favorite composition of mine. And um, it kind of differs like uh, watching the song in the live performance. Oh. So I really kind of wanted to, you know, present you guys with a live song. So you're saying that it has a different charm when you play it yeah. acoustically. Yes, Whoa. my uh, fans in Korea mm -hmm. loves it when I perform it live. Okay, acoustic, okay. Alone. Like, so this Sounds is like, good. If, if you were to tell our listener to imagine this yes. while listening, what would it be? Imagine uh, something. Um, so imagine you uh, think of something that you've missed in your life. Okay, there it goes. Yeah. Please get a sip of water and give uh -huh. it to yourself. Prep for us. Okay. okay, guys, he's gonna sing his favorite song and many of his fans' favorite song. It's called Hu He Regret by Cho Hyungwoo. Again, with his beautiful guitar and beautiful voice. Um, are you ready, Hyungwoo? I am ready. Please do take it away. Sorry, 
채워지만 왜 나를 위했던 나의 사랑에 맞지 않던 그대를 몰랐을까 없잖아 돌아오지 않을 추억들을 그리다 잠이 들어 잃었던 그날은 조금 도 아쉬움 없을 거라며 애써 아픔을 지웠지만 왜 이해 이해 나를 위했던 나의 사랑에 맞지 않던 그대를 I'm speechless. I don't know what to say now. Oh my goodness, guys. That was Who A Regret by Jo Hyung Woo and, and Hyung Woo Nim. My eyes are teary right now. Thank I'm you. Not, I'm not even joking. Thank uh, you. I was much. going back in my memories, mm -hmm. uh, thinking about all the things I was missing. Yeah. Uh, I'm emotional now. The song is about something that you have missed. And this song today is dedicated to my friend because this week mm -hmm. I have been to a funeral of my friend. You know, the K-pop star, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Boram. Yes, yeah, like Boram. Uh, all the mm -hmm. uh, fellow musicians, we are mm -hmm. having a devastating time. Yes, we are. But we are all over it. Yes, she was very happy the last moment we mm -hmm. heard. Mm -hmm. Yes, and somehow I got really, really emotional. <sighs> somehow it felt like... And know. I must tell you that I also got emotional. Yeah, Knowing that's the power this. of music, isn't it? Exactly, oh my yeah. goodness. I wish you guys were in this room hearing live acoustic version. Uh, but again, like if this was being played in a park as a busking, yeah. I would be like speechless <laughs> like, I'll be just standing there like in awe I'll be like oh, what is that and your high notes it reminded me of yeah. Shin Sung Hoon oh yes he was my mentor in the no one yeah the audition program yes because we have a legendary singer songwriter Shin Sung Hoon and was my uh, Jo Young Woo his high notes are it kind of has that vibe thank you and that's really rare Cheers. to find oh thank you in K-pop industry thank you very much oh, high, yes. five. high five high five ah. high five okay I need to get back with, mm -hmm. with my pace because I got too emotional <laughs> alright so um, it's a good thank music. you again once more yeah Yes. Um, we are going to move in to Flex interview. Let's do it. Okay, so yes. we asked Jo hyung to write down words or pictures of what he is good at or mm. what he wants to show off besides music. Yes. And um, I believe we have a picture of three post-its <laughs> up there. Do you mind explaining uh, these horrendous drawing <laughs> yes <laughs> it's a terrible drawing i got like i'm being emba embarrassed no not at all at uh the left green post it has a man is that inline skating it's a man trying to you know he's, uh, he's running oh so he's sprinting because those days it's not sprinting but it's those days i'm kind of into the marathon oh are you and i was i went out to the kimpo marathon like oh. last last weekend oh wow how was that oh my god it was awesome and i i got the i've got the, my first like record uh-huh uh 10 kilometers i went in uh it took me like 56 minutes and 30 seconds oh I my think. goodness that's so it's good. less yeah that's good pace yeah so it's less than six minutes per mm -hmm. uh, kilometer so there's a very good record for me 
Amazing. I was kind of happy. So you always do that, like habitually running. Yeah, I I try mm-hmm. to do mm-hmm. it, and and I'm not a gym person. Okay. But I'm like I'm like a running person. Okay, you're more of like cardio guy. Oh uh, yeah, I, I think so. No, I said that. I'm like 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 weight <laughs> not training the weight guy. guy, not the weight guy. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, the first post it was running. Then what about the second one? Is that like campfire? Yeah, it's camping. It's oh, always. it's camp. Oh, you're a camper. Yeah. Yeah, all the flex interview there was like camping, the tent, the, mm. the, the same drawing of the tent. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of into camping and this is spring. Uh-huh. And before it gets too hot, it gets too hot. This is like the best per- time. Perfect time. Spring perfect time, time uh-huh. to go on the camping with mm-hmm. the friend. Mm-hmm. And some of my friends actually started camping too. So oh, I'm real? like, oh, you started uh- <laughs> camping. Okay. <laughs> no way go. out. <laughs> yeah, no, there's no way out. Let's go together. Uh, like I that. never went camping. So maybe one day you can teach one me. One day so you should camping. come. Yes, definitely. Sounds lovely. It's very but interesting. But I'm going to say you're a liar. Because mm-hmm. your last posted as a man mm. holding up a bar- barbell, is it barbell? Oh, there's a barbell. Mm-hmm. That's not like, a, you know, like a weight training, but I'm kind of into the the CrossFit too. You oh, know, the group you? training. You're into CrossFit. Because, you know, when you're over like mid-30s, it's all about the konggang. It's all about the health uh, yes. condition of you. You know, all my friends, we always say that this week, last week, always say that konggang chenggyo. Health as priority. Especially for us singer-songwriters. Yes, very us important. us musicians, it's very important for all the K-pop like musicians and everyone. Very important. Yes, that's why I'm kind of into uh-huh. like physical activities mm-hmm. rather than like partying around mm. konggang <laughs> not anymore i'm too tired taking for that. care of yourself i'm really uh-huh. taking care of myself and i really enjoy it that's yeah. nice because like after the exercise mm-hmm. it really feels like uh you know you can do something more mm. mm-hmm. it feels like after the exercise you are trying to drag up the situation you are the you reality are. and you feel much more productive yes mm. uh, but before the exercise mm. you feel like you are being dragged by the reality yes, exactly. or the business that you have exactly. to do so I it gets like you that. back in your game yeah course. something like that all right so those were the three flex interviews marathon camping and weightlifting you would say yes okay but again it is already time to wrap up the show today i know Oh, Hyunwoo, I had so much fun today. Me too. Do you mind saying uh, your bye byes and any future promotion plans? Yeah. For our so I kind of knew that it always, you know, the time is already like always not enough. Yes, exactly. For us, we need to, three hours at least. We need three hours uh-huh. in Super K-pop to uh-huh. talk about, you know, many musics and mm. many personal life and everything. So uh, thank you guys for tuning in and thank you for the sweet messages. I really feel your good energy mm. and I'll come back to my studio and home and maybe get healthy, release, you know, make more music and Sounds then come good. back to you guys ASAP. Awesome. As thank as you so much for the live performance. Thank we you, had so much fun. We'll have you, you back in the studio. For yes. Sure. Thank you. Definitely. All right, guys. Um, time to close the show today. Thank you again for tuning in. It, um, it's been an honor to be hosting the show for three weeks straight so far. Mm. And again, having you in the studio made wow. it even better. It's like a gift for me today. Thank you. Um, thank you for tuning in. We'll be back tomorrow, same time, same place, 4 p.m. KST for another exciting episode of Super K-Pop. I wish you all a wonderful day. It's been yours truly. Ivan and Hyungwoo. I'm sending you off with the last song, 가장 좋아했던 당신에게, to you whom I love the most by Choyoungwoo. Thanks, Bye-bye. guys.